I have some insane news for you guys today. Lovable has just dropped a Shopify integration. The cool thing that Lovable is doing here is allowing you to build a front end website that is connected to your Shopify. It also allows you to control products and everything else in between. So I'm going to keep this video very short and sweet. First, I'm going to go over everything that the Shopify integration with Lovable is and everything that it isn't. And then after, I'm going to show you exactly how to set this up step by step and even show you this example that I have built right here, which is just a pretty, which is just a demo of French Bulldogs e-commerce store. So if you have clients or you yourself want to sell either physical or digital products, then this is such a quick way to get up and running with your Shopify store. It's absolutely mental. I built this store right here that you're looking at within quite literally 11 minutes. Now, of course, there's gonna be a lot of tweaking and things to change within this, but the fact that I can get a store built with products connected to Shopify, practically ready to take payments within 11 minutes is mind blowing. So we're gonna dive into this and I'm gonna show you guys everything you need to know. Okay, first I have this board built out and I just wanna show you and kind of explain what this connection is and how Lovable is working with Shopify. So Lovable is going to be the front end of your website. Shopify's website builder is amazing in its own terms, but when it comes to customization and the time it takes to build a Shopify store, it takes quite a while. Now what Lovable is doing is building the entire front end of your website. So Lovable is now going to be the website or the front end of your Shopify store. If you're used to using Shopify, usually you would know that you have a sites area inside of Shopify where you can enter there and then modify your store however you want. Now, instead of that, you're gonna be using Lovable where you can prompt with Lovable and tell it to change whatever you want it to change. Lovable auto creates a new store in Shopify and builds your products. So for example, we can see this page that I built right here. I just told it to add this light up LED collar and some Frenchy winter vests here. This is actually off of a store I used to run back in like 2018, where I sold French Bulldog rings and French Bulldog products and it did extremely well. The final checkout in the payment processing side of this is going to be run from Shopify. So we can see if I go from this page here and then I actually go and check out, it's gonna go to a Shopify hosted checkout page, which looks like this. So this is how Shopify is going to be processing your payments. All of that is going to be done on Shopify side. Lovable is just your front end. Let's go down here and we can look at what Shopify looks like from the inside. So the Shopify site is not available within the Shopify dashboard because Lovable is now your site. So looking over here on this left side panel, we can see that the sites option is no longer available. But what we can see is this Lovable site is connected. So that is how you're going to manage your site. On the product side, you can still go into products and you'll be able to manage your products, which is awesome. And like I said, in just a bit, we're going to go into the actual back end of it. I just want you to be able to wrap your mind around what's going on and how this works. So you know it's kind of limitations here. How is Lovable connected to Shopify and what can it do? If we go and look at the apps and we see Lovable as a new app, we can see all the scopes of their API token. We can read discounts, inventory, price rules, products, themes, and then we can read product listings and we can also write discounts, inventory, price rules, and products. So what this means is that Lovable is able to manage, write, create, edit, and modify your products directly from Lovable into your Shopify. They can sync back and forth. So at the core, what is Lovable actually doing? First, you're gonna go into Lovable and tell it to make an e-commerce store. This is going to be kind of a trigger word that's gonna tell Lovable you want to build an e-commerce store, which will then fire off the Shopify integration. Lovable will ask you if you want to build a Shopify store and you can connect everything and get it started. Now, first, you don't even need to have a Shopify account while you're building this. Lovable is going to automatically create you a Shopify account and a store and then begin building within that store. And you can claim this store and everything else later. So you don't even need a Shopify account to get this started. Okay. So you tell Lovable to add products to the site. Lovable will create those new products and directly sync them to your Shopify store. Now, when you're ready to actually claim the store, you can get a free 30 day trial, log into Shopify, and you can claim the store. And you can do this directly from Lovable, which I'll show you in just a moment. Now, Lovable is your site and products manager, while Shopify is still your hub for payments, managing orders, and customers. So now everything that you need to manage from the Shopify side is going to be shipping, order management, customers, 
and everything except for the main website and the products and details. Everything else will be managed directly from Shopify. So just so you can have a quick look at how Lovable is able to update your products, I've taken the screenshot from a project that I got up and running. So you can see that I told Lovable to lower the price of the products. I just told it my base cost is $13 per caller. Can you update that? And it said, yeah, I'll check your current products and update the pricing on your $13 base cost. So we can see here it listed Shopify products, it got Shopify products, and then it updated the product variant. So we can see the variant ID, which was for my dog collars, and then it updated the price to $24.99, which previously it was $36. So pricing, variants, images, everything that has to deal with products, you can literally just tell Lovable to go and update them and Lovable will do all of that for you, which is amazing. Now, I think you guys have a good idea of how everything is connected and how everything talks back and forth with each other, what you can do, what you can't do, how Lovable works as a site, and Shopify still works as your backend for your, for your customers and transactions. So let's jump into Lovable and I'm gonna show you exactly how to get this started. Now, this is my current Lovable site, but I'm gonna spin up one completely brand new. Just for time's sake, I'm gonna grab my previous prompt and I'll show it to you guys here. And straight from Lovable, what we're gonna do is just paste in this prompt and all I've said is, okay, so all I've said here is build an e-com store site for selling dog items like light up collars and dog coats for the winter targeted towards French Bulldog owners who love their French Bulldogs. Write the copy in a format as you are someone who is really good at talking to French Bulldog pet owners. And then boom, we can just go ahead and enter that in and let it start spinning up our site. Okay, so we can see that it has asked us enable Shopify connection. Again, remember, because I told it we're going to build an e-commerce store. So now I'm going to click on allow. And what it's going to do is now make a new sandbox Shopify. Boom, just like that, we have a store, done. Now let's go into this. So we have, because your Frenchie deserves to shine. Wow, 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 looks great. So now we have our store set up. So this is just the front end website. Obviously we can go in and customize this however we want. But obviously what we need now are products. So I'm just gonna tell it to make like three different products and then it's going to go in create our products and add them. So I told to add three products with images. The first one's gonna be a glow dog collar. Second one is a yellow dog coat for winter. And the third one is a blue dog chew toy. Now, what you're gonna wanna do when you actually go ahead and do this is instead of having Lovable, you know, choose your product titles, your prices and images, you're going to tell Lovable what you want to sell and provide it with images. That is going to be way better than what it's gonna do right now because it's going to generate images, which, obviously aren't accurate. So we can see it's generated our three images and now it's creating our Shopify product. And there we go, let's see. So we have our LED glow collar, our cozy winter coat and our indestructible chew toy, blue bone. So let's go ahead and refresh the page. Look at that. I mean, like I said, these are AI generated images. So this isn't gonna be exactly what you probably want it to be like, but quite literally I can hit add to cart, see our cart, boom, here we go. And I can check out with Shopify. And now if we look at the URL, we can see that it says dot my Shopify.com and checkout. So this Shopify checkout page is through Shopify, which is separate from Lovable. Now, if I want to actually put this store live, what I need to do is claim it. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say claim store. And once I enter claim store, it should give me a prompt to be able to now create my store within Shopify. Okay. So now it's giving me the prompt and I can click on claim and it should bring me over to Shopify. I'm just gonna log in with a previous account. If you don't have an account, then just make a new account. If you already have a Shopify account, then just select your current Shopify account. Okay, so it says claim your lovable store. I'm gonna click on claim store. And then we can click on open Shopify admin. And there we go. We now have a website connected with lovable and our connection with Shopify and our actual Shopify account already set up. So now from Shopify, if I go to my products, I can see that the three products are already added. And if I go into these, I can see the description, the title, we can see the tags that were added. We can see the images, sizes, you can add size variants if you want. And of course, we can see the price down here. Now, when it comes to modifying your products, check this out. If I go back to Lovable and I tell it add three price and size variants, to the dog chew toy. So we can see it's listing the Shopify products. 
So it's connecting directly with our Shopify store to find our product. And now it's going to add the different variants. Once this pops up, you can either click allow or what I would suggest is quite literally just put always allow for this. It's pretty nice and easy. Click on allow and it's gonna go ahead and create those. So we can see the values here, small, medium, and large, and the product ID, and then our product descriptions. Okay, it doesn't look like the always allow is working currently, that's okay though. We can just click on allow again here. It's deleting product variants, it might be a little confused. Let's see, we're gonna see if it fixes itself or if it's uh, got something weird going on here. Okay, it says that it's added three size variants. So let's go ahead and refresh this page. And we're going to double check. And remember, anytime you make these changes, always, always, always double check and make sure that it's working properly. Okay, so now we have small, medium, and large, which is correct, but it shows out of stock, which is obviously not correct. So what I'm going to tell Lovable is that the Chew Toys show out of stock on all three variants. Uh, fix this. Nice and easy. Nothing crazy. Again, this is just a quick demo for you guys, but if you're actually doing this live or for a client, be a little bit more descriptive. Tell it your prices give it images for the variants, tell it everything that it needs to so it can correctly update your products. Okay, so it looks like it's telling me to go and fix the actual uh, inventory through the Shopify admin, which you definitely can do. If I just went in here, let's refresh the page to see all the new variants. Okay, we can see small, medium, and large. And we can see that available is zero. So we can just say 20, 20, and 20, and then click on save at the very top. And now if I go back here and refresh this page, we will be able to see that the actual uh, inventory is now allowing us to add the item to our cart. So I can add a medium to our cart, okay? And we can now see that the indestructible chew toy medium has been added to our cart. Again, checkout is going to be through Shopify. Now, like I mentioned before, in order to manage your shipping and your finances, that's all going to be through the Shopify panel. So if you wanna manage your shipping zones, you can go to markets. If we can see United States is set up. And then in order to activate Shopify payments so you can actually accept payments for your products, you're gonna to go to finance and then you're gonna go and activate Shopify payments. Once people have actually purchased the product, again, if you're unfamiliar with Shopify, you're then going to go to the orders panel over here. And this is where all of your orders are going to show up. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you legends in the next one.